Good evening and a warm welcome to you all. I wish to thank everyone for joining us this evening as we celebrate the 55th anniversary of our independence, commonly known in Swahili as Jamhuri. In particular, I would like to extend my deep gratitude to our guest of honor, Her Excellency Fatma Vank, for gracing us with our presence here tonight. Today marks a historic and glorious day for Kenya as we reflect on the past and celebrate the brave, visionary men and women who through personal courage sacrificed their lives for the love of our country. We took our independence as a chance to shape a new destiny. Today, Kenya has grown into a strong democracy and the most diverse and vibrant economy in our region. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, if I'll please have your attention. As some of you may know from Turkey, on the whole, this manifests that both our countries have come a long way, not only in our respective economic growth paths, but towards deepening and sustaining our friendship and cooperation. And speaking of building partnership, just two weeks ago, Kenya successfully concluded hosting the first ever Sustainable Blue Economy Conference, which was held in Nairobi. The conference brought together over 10,000 delegates from over 150 countries. This international gathering was an example of multilateralism at its best. It showcased Kenya's leadership, as well as the importance in working in partnership in uniting countries to face our ch uh, shared challenges. These challenges include creating sustainable economic growth, promoting healthy and clean waters, and building safe and resilient coastal communities. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya has a very good story to tell. Throughout its history, Kenya has been an open economy, and our nation's rebirth has also produced social economy, economic innovations that have changed our country. The government is pursuing national growth strategy in order to achieve its national goals and the aspirations of the Kenyan people, and this is done through the Vision 2030. Kenya has also discovered oil and gas deposits and has heavily invested in manufacturing, agriculture, financial services, infrastructure and energy. I'm about to finish, ladies and gentlemen, if I may have your kind attention. The ICT sector in Kenya has registered tremendous growth in the last decade, contributing significantly to the national economy and improving millions of lives. Our mobile money technology service, which you all know, M-Pesa, has been replicated in many countries successfully. Also, numerous multinationals have chosen Nairobi to as the headquarters of their continent-wide operations. I'll just mention a few, PricewaterhouseCoopers, IBM, Google, Nokia, Siemens, just to mention a few. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to finish. You'll have noted that Kenya has made aggressive reforms in the ease of doing business. This year, Kenya was ranked 61 among 190 economies. This is according to the World Bank annual ratings. And this is an, an improvement from last year's position, which we ranked at 80. Above all, Kenya also hosts the only UN headquarters outside of Europe and America.
before I conclude, I want to extend my uh, deepest appreciation to the embassy staff for organizing this very successful event. I also want to thank our sponsors, the Golden Group, um, as well as I want to thank everyone for coming out to celebrate with us tonight. And I do hope you have a wonderful time and have a chance to sample our favorite traditional food served here. But before we do that, I would like to invite our guest of honor to make our remarks. Thank you very much, Teshaki.